Hi guys, welcome to Amateur Chemistry. In today's video, I am going to show you how to make the traffic light demonstration and later I will explain how it works. So, the traffic light demonstration is one of the classic school laboratory experiments and its name comes from the colors generated by the reaction which resemble the traffic light. The demonstration, which you might have watched in your school, is usually prepared by first mixing three solutions together, waiting a bit, and then watching the mixture magically change color upon being shaken. However, the reactants are not always shown, and thus the demonstration can be difficult to recreate in an amateur lab. So, if you would like to prepare the reaction yourself, here is a list of ingredients. 10 grams of sodium hydroxide, 1.5 grams of glucose, and a tiny amount of a dye called indigo carmine. All of these things can be easily purchased from a chemical supply store. The indigo carmine is a water-soluble version of the popular dye indigo used in, for example, dyeing jeans. The indigo carmine is a little different on a molecular level, and that modification makes it safe to use as a food coloring and able to dissolve in water. So, the first step in making the demonstration is to dissolve each of the ingredients in about 100 ml of distilled water. You can also use tap water, but you'll need to filter the solutions to avoid contamination. An important notice is that the sodium hydroxide is a dangerous chemical that should be handled carefully because it's a strong and corrosive base. Its dissolved in water is exothermic, which means that it generates a lot of heat and needs to be controlled to avoid boiling. When all the solutions are ready, you can pour equal amounts of the sodium hydroxide and glucose solution together into a container. The amount of the dye solution added depends on how intense you want the color to be. If you did everything correctly, after adding the solutions and waiting for a few minutes, you can observe the color slowly change from green to red and from red to yellow. The best part comes when you shake the mixture. If shaken gently, it turns from yellow to red, and if shaken more energetically, it becomes green. And if it's allowed to rest, it slowly changes colors once again, and it's ready for another shake. This cycle can be repeated several times, but unfortunately, it doesn't last forever. I won't try to seal the liquid in a glass ampule, but after a day or so, it just stopped changing color. Now that we know how to make the demonstration, to understand how it works, we need to learn a few things about indigo carmine. Firstly, this dye is used as a pH indicator. When the pH is around 11 or less, the dye is blue, between 11 and 13 it is green, and when it is higher than 13, it changes color to yellow. In this test, you can see that when I add some sodium hydroxide to an indigo carmine solution, it makes it green and then yellow. If I then neutralize the base with some citric acid, the color story reverts back to blue. The dye can easily undergo oxidation and reduction reactions, which paired with the dye's ability to change color can be used as a lab example of such reactions. In our case, the reducing agent is the glucose, which in presence of sodium hydroxide changes from its ring structure to a straight form. This change allows it to rip electrons of the indigo and slowly change it to a yellow color. The oxidizing agent in the reaction is the oxygen from the air, which combines with the reduced dye and adds electrons to it, making it red and then green. The oxidized form is then reduced back to yellow and the cycle can repeat. However, after a few cycles, the glucose will start to deplete and thus the reaction will occur more and more slowly until stopping the change completely. So, that is about it when it comes to the traffic light demonstration. I hope that I explained it well, but if someone wants to add something to my explanation, please share it in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching, if you liked the video you can like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.